The Coach Adam Fawcett Show on a Thursday morning, 55 points. <clears throat> the offense put up on the board the second week in a row over 50 points and a big win over uh, Ranburn last Friday night at the stadium. And, uh, Coach, uh, uh, you got some of the younger kids involved in the, the uh, beatdown as well last week. Yeah, it was uh, it was fun to watch uh, Richard Weed uh, take off on, on a couple little short passes. Did you know passes. he was that fast? I did not. Uh, <laughs> I knew he was quick. I knew he was tough, but uh, I, I didn't know he was quite that fast. He, he's a fun freshman. to watch. Yeah, he's a freshman. Uh, he, he's fun to watch. Fun to fun to see him in the open field. Um, on his, on the second score he had, he uh, he stuck his foot in the ground and made a cut. And uh, man, he he turned that into a big run and a score for him. So. Uh, lo looking forward to, to adding him to our arsenal of weapons. And he's a little guy. He's not mm -hmm. big and doesn't have a big frame, but man, he got a third gear that gets it. Yeah, yeah. He, he's got he's got a different gear, and um, I'd never seen that gear uh, up until Friday. And um, you know, hat, hats off to him and Jesse Graham. They're, they're the two smallest varsity guys I have, and they're probably well, I know for a fact, pound for pound, they're the toughest guys we have. So. Um, they'll, they'll line up against anybody. They're not for, afraid to, to line up against anybody, and uh, they, they get after it. So, um, you know, Ranburn uh, threw the football well, especially mm -hmm. in the first half, and presented some problems uh, pretty close at halftime. Yeah, so we, we escaped, man, we escaped halftime <laughs> because they were, I mean, they were knocking on the door, um, and, and they, again, Ranburn executed well, had a good game plan. Uh, it, it was set up very well for the quarterback, uh, for the quarterback to have success. A lot of short routes, a lot of crossing routes, uh, quick release stuff. So um, our pass rush was really not a was a non-factor because uh, he would catch and throw so fast. So um, and and we knew that going in, we knew that they were going to be well coached. We knew they were going to be fundamentally sound. So uh, just settled down at halftime, made a few adjustments. We picked up a big turnover on interception in the second half. Uh, but uh, you know, going going in at halftime, up one score, and it could have been a tie ball game again uh, because they were knocking on the door right before the half. So uh, getting getting the the second half kickoff and then going going up on uh, two scores that helps out a ton. Uh, Ranburn uh, with their quarterback who, who had done well in previous games uh, showed why he's so well thought of. And game was close at halftime. Uh, second half we uh, punch a, a touchdown in and you you began to throw the football down the field more too. Yeah we did so got a couple downfield looks uh, Devontae is starting to starting to feel a little more confident throwing the ball downfield uh, feel like we, we had a couple a couple balls that we should have gone up and got should have been more aggressive and, and gone up to, to get uh, but we did we did make some good completions downfield he, he was able to hook up with James uh, on a couple catches, um, and, and that's the thing is we we've got to be, and I think we've talked about it a couple times. We've got to be multifaceted. We can't just be one dimensional, and that that one dimensional is what got us in trouble last year in the second round. So, um, you know, if if people are preparing for us now, you've got to prepare for the run and the pass. Uh, you've got to prepare for for numerous uh, weapons as far as. Um, receivers and running backs and uh, you know up front I feel like we're, we're getting better and better uh, with our offensive line week in and week out uh, we just got to keep we've got to continue getting better week in and week out and we've got to stay healthy you mentioned running backs your top running back got mm -hmm. nicked up a little bit Friday night yeah he got a little banged up a little ankle injury um, you know he's he's been going through some therapy this week and it'll be a game time decision on uh, on, on him. Um, now, you know, you know, the other part of that equation, he plays defense linebacker mm -hmm. too. Yeah, so, you know, he plays both sides of the ball. And, and that's, uh, you know, again, it's, it's the next man up uh, mentality. And, and we've had guys step up in, in both positions. Um, but, uh, you know, it, again, we'll, we'll make a game time decision on him and see. Uh, he's moving around a lot better. But again, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to, you know, Put, put him at risk. So, uh, but we've had a bunch of guys step up and, uh, you know, last week Drew Hallman was out. So uh, we had uh, Jai Gaddis stepped up at that tight end spot. Brandon Blankenship's doing a great job snapping the ball for us at center. So we, we've got those guys that, are, that have stepped in and done a good job for us. Omari Wells has, has stepped in 
and is, is becoming a, a strong candidate for a, a offensive line spot. I mean, it's, it's hard to keep him off the field right now just because of effort and, and uh, the work that he's putting in in practice. We, uh, for years, have held our breath when we scored because of our extra point <laughs> problems. Wimmer has done a fantastic job. He has, man. He's, he's, uh, man, he's kicking some extra points for us. Uh, he he's taken over the kickoff duties. Yeah. You know, last week uh, with Drew Hallman out, um, he had kicked to, it pretty deep. He did. He he did a good job. And and you know, uh, our, we if you ever see the ball kicked out of bounds, that's not what we wanted to mm -hmm. do. So um, he's still working on that a little bit. But but our goal is get we want to get height on the ball so that we can get down and cover it while it's in the air and then make a tackle. You know, if we can if we can make a tackle between the 20 and the 30, then then that's that's a successful kickoff for us. You know? uh, defensively in the second half, what did you do differently? Uh, man, we just we ironed out some issues. There was some communication issues in the defensive backfield, and I don't know, there was nothing nothing different. You know, I mean, we we did our stuff, but uh, for some reason there was some communication issues and. Uh, between Devonte and and Dalian Welch and James and uh, trying to get all that situated and and we kind of drew it all back up at halftime and uh, talked it out and and it was uh, it was fixed at the uh, at the half. So, well, a big region win for BB Comer over Ranburn, 55-28 uh, uh, at the stadium. You go up the road uh, six, seven, maybe ten miles to Winterboro to take on the Bulldogs, and they're one in, uh, one and two in their region in Class 1A, but, uh, you know, that's a trap in waiting right there. Yeah, no doubt. You know, you, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to sleep on those guys, man. They, they have some athletes. <clears throat> the the uh, running back uh, is, is really good. Uh, they have a receiver that's pretty good. You kind of know about Winterboro a little yeah, bit, don't you? Yeah, I know a little bit about it. You know, it's uh, it's been a it's been a while since I've been down there, but uh, yeah, you know, they they've always got athletes. That they're always going to be tough kids. They're going to play hard, and uh, you know, we we've got to go in and and be ready to play. We've got to go in and execute. Uh, as a coach, you know, I'm still looking for the 48 minutes. I'm still looking for the full game. Uh, I keep uh, I, I keep telling our guys that. You know, if if you polled the school, the coaches in this area, or polled people that watched us, they're gonna say, "Oh, they're a second half team," because it seems like we have to, you know, we have to kind of get going and and then get to halftime, and then we come out in the second half and and play a lot better. I would like to be a total game team. I'd like to to get in 48 full minutes, uh, get in a full game of football, and play start to finish. A lot of people think BB <clears throat> Comer should win this game tonight and and really should but it's not a given for sure no there's nothing's given that's that's why you play the game you know that's why <coughs> that's why you line up between the lines and and uh kick it off and play the game and that's what uh that, that's the beautiful part of it is is we get to get to play the game and um you know you you hope that your preparation is is uh takes place and and you know i tell our guys we prepare Monday through Thursday, and, and Friday is the production of our work. So uh, we want to be able to see see our work. We want to be able to see the, the fruits of our labor, and um, we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, uh, before we go, uh, a player that kind of stood out, stood out to you in the win over Ranburn last week. Uh, definitely Richard Weed. I mean, he had four catches, uh, two touchdowns. I think he had 159 yards uh, receiving, and uh, – he, he's a, a little ball of energy, so, uh, you know, we, we will use him uh, for, for all sorts of things offensively. Um, he almost broke, a, almost broke a kickoff, too. Yeah. I, I'm waiting for that to happen. I, I think I, I tell him you're going to score one this year. So uh, we, we would definitely like to get a special teams touchdown. Uh, if we can get it Friday night, we'll take it. All right, Coach Adam Fossett, the head football coach. And athletic director at B.B. Comer, a big region went over Ranburn, step out of region play into uh, uh, an opponent uh, at Winterboro, the Winterboro Bulldog kick at 7 o'clock at Winterboro Stadium. Coach, we'll see you next week. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Back for more Daybreak right after this.